Prepare to indulge with what is said in a riveting, captivating, and stellar video because today another unboxing slash opening video is about to commence. What will I be unboxing? What will I be opening? Without further delay, without further procrastination, let me ravage the package in so that I can demystify the answer to that inquiry. For with me, this process will only take billions of pocket seconds to finish. I purchased these items via eBay. I paid a premium price of nearly $20 to acquire these items. Alright, I received the stands. By the way, these are accessories for horror movie figures. Somebody was relinquishing somebody was relinquishing their collection. By that I mean they were selling it. For a price that collectors may deem reasonable. Of course these figurines and accessories are used, but nonetheless they're in decent condition. They're not unscathed, they're not in mint or pristine condition, but they've aged well over the course of time. This is an accessory for Jason Voorhees, I believe. Actually, I retract my previous statement. This is the accessory for the Michael Myers figurine, which I do not believe I possess. All right. Showcase some of the other accessories were briefly. And here are the figures. I'm not sure who this guy is. Maybe he's derived from Jeepers Creepers. We have a miniature Jason Voorhees on top of a car. We have a fence. Relative to the car, he's portrayed as a giant. We appear to have some type of hood. This may be Lester the Scarecrow. Fortunately, his arm appears to be severed. He comes with a crow. So there's just a vast variety of items. Encompassed within this bag. We have some other monster, likely derived from a horror movie. If you're an avid horror movie fan, then you may be well acclimated with the 
franchises that these characters are derived from. If you scarcely watch horror movies, then you may not be aware of who these characters are. This is Sweet Tooth and the Metal Gear Rising. From the that Metal Gear Rising. I don't think he's derived from the Metal Gear series. What is that racing series called that he's derived from? It begins with the word Metal. Let's verify it. Twisted Meadow, so I made a blunder. Sweet Tooth is derived from the Twisted Meadow racing series. Not the Metal Gear Solid series. He coincides well with my action figure collection of horror movie, of horror movie figurines. Next we have some type of clown. These figures have an ominous appearance. When you're within their vicinity, death may transpire. In other words, these characters are notorious, infamous lunatics who wreak havoc against their victims. Here's some type of band with some um, army oriented aesthetics. Next, we have more accessories. I do not want to lose those. It's pivotal that I keep them in the bag so that they do not get dispersed throughout the room. I'll likely consolidate the figures back into the bag or display them. I need to sort through the remaining accessories. There's no more remnants of the figures remaining in the box. The box is now devoid of all items that were packaged within it. So, I throw through these figurines, I'll strive to reassemble. This character's arm. Hopefully I can rectify that issue. If not, then um, at least I have a stellar horror movie figure collection. Even if his arm has been amputated. So, even though this character's arm is severed, this purchase has merit and was worth a premium price of nearly twenty dollars so this transaction warranted the cost i hope you found this video to be intriguing and stupendous have a wonderful marvelous day